what's up guys welcome to another video my name is Callie Green and today's video is going to be what to pack for BMT this is specifically for Air Force BMT I'm not sure how any of the other BMTs are I've only been to the Air Force BMT so I can't speak for other branches but this is just my experience and what I brought and what I would recommend bringing so the first day you get there, they're going to give you a backpack full of a ton of stuff. And the Air Force actually has a packing list on their website. So I'm going to link that down below. It has on there everything that they provide to you in the backpack. I'm also going to be going over it today in this video. The backpack that they give you is full of basically everything that you might need. So if you showed up to BMT fully unprepared, I, they, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. Before I go over what I brought and what I recommend bringing, I'm going to go over everything that the Air Force provides for you. So they provide you with a black backpack and an Air Force water bottle. They also provide you with an easy pay card. And this card, I think they put about $400 on it. They take it away from your first check and you can spend it at the BX and you can spend it when you first get there. They have a little mini BX store that comes to your squadron and you can shop for everything you need. So if you forgot like bras or you forgot panties or you forgot hair gel or stamps, envelopes, all those like certain things you might need, they actually let you buy it the first week that you're there so let's go over what's in the backpack that they give you a laundry bag four mesh bags a padlock two writing pins two black sharpies two silver sharpies four brown towels four blousing straps which blousing straps is for your uniform a flashlight id card holder reflective belt ruler highlighter notepad two-in-one shampoo and conditioner that's what they give females and then they give body wash to females as well so the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, I believe, was head and shoulders. And the body wash was just a suave body wash. I'll try to find a picture of exactly what they gave us. And then for males, they gave you a three-in-one soap. They also provide you with shower shoes, a toothbrush, toothpaste, toothbrush case, dental picks, foot powder, deodorant, scissors, a bath sponge, so like a loofah, laundry pods. They provide Tide Pods, but unless you're a laundry crew, you don't do your own laundry, so you put all your Tide Pods in this big bucket. A box of trash bags nail clippers, two shirt garters, a storage container, which is basically just like a red Tupperware container, and a financial management book, which is just a journal. So that's everything they provide in the backpack. Here's all the personal things I recommend bringing. I recommend bringing seven or eight pairs of underwear. It says on the website they have to be conservative or whatever, but there were girls in my flight with hot pink underwear, so don't bring uncomfortable underwear. You don't want to be wearing a thong and BMT. I got like a seven pack Hanes underwear from Walmart. They were so soft, so comfortable. They weren't cute, but I didn't care. For bras, I would recommend bringing six or seven sports bras. Make sure they are comfy bras because no one wants to wear an uncomfortable bra, especially in basic training. I would bring like one or two regular bras just in case you wear your blues. When you wear your blues on picture day and when you wear your blues on graduation, um, I would want to wear a regular bra with my blues, not a sports bra. So you don't need to bring a ton of regular bras because most days you'll most likely just be wearing a sports bra. As far as civilian clothing, I would recommend bringing at least three plus days of civilian clothing. I was expecting to get like a uniform or PT gear the next day after we got there. For some reason, we didn't get our PT gear until like three or four days after we got there. So we were like rewashing and reusing our civilian clothes because I only brought two pairs of clothes and I was just like reusing them. So bring at least three days of civilian clothes and, and make them comfy clothes because the first few days you'll be wearing them, you'll still be marching and doing all the BMT things, you know. So bring comfy civilian clothes. I also recommend bringing your own running shoes. They are going to provide you running shoes in BMT, but the ones they provided me were just not comfortable for my feet personally. I had a pair of shoes that I already used for running before, so I just brought them because my feet were already used to them and they worked for me. You can choose to wear the running shoes they give you. If not, you can just keep them in your civilian luggage. But I would recommend bringing some running shoes and if not, they're gonna provide you running shoes. So if you don't wanna pay for shoes, you don't have to. And while we're on the topic of shoes, I would recommend bringing like a foot pad, like a foot cushion, Dr. Scholl's, like something to put in your boots because you're gonna be walking and marching around in your boots all through basic training. So I'd recommend bringing some type of cushion or some type of foot pad to put in your boots to make it comfy. I didn't bring one, but I really wish that I did. All right, that's about it for clothes. Um, you're gonna be wearing your PT gear or your uniform all through BMT. So don't pack a whole bunch of socks because they're gonna provide you socks that you have to wear in your PT uniform. And of course you're gonna get your uniform t-shirt, your uniform, your uniform socks, your boots, everything. So 
that's all you really need is about three pairs of civilian clothing and some running shoes now i'm going to get into like the hygiene product side of it so they do have gel there that you can buy but if you have your favorite hair gel stock 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 up on your favorite hair gel and bring that so personally my favorite hair gel is trust me everyone's hair type is different i've tried a bunch of different gels got to be glued eco tresemme i've tried a few different types of gels but for my hair type personally this tresemme gel lasts amazing it locks my hair down into place but at the end of the day it's not like stiff like when i use got to be it's great because like it locks my hair down but at the end of the day my hair is stiff but this tresemme gel is great it lasts me all through bmt and i would definitely recommend it if we have a similar hair type but if not they do let you buy gel and bmt and I remember the BX had like eco gel and things like that. So they have options for you if you don't bring your own gel or if you run out. But remember, if you're bringing your own gel, bring enough for two months. And you're going to be doing military buns every day. So bring a lot because <laughs> I ran out like within a few weeks. For makeup, bring a very small bag of very light makeup. They're not going to let you beat your face in BMT. They're going to let you do your makeup for picture day and graduation, but that's it. And they're not going to let you go over the top. Like bring very conservative, chill makeup, no bright lipsticks like this. I'm wearing in my uniform today, but at BMT, they would not let it slide. So yeah, bring the makeup for pictures, but it's going to be in your civilian luggage until you're allowed to put it on. And as far as hygiene products, you know, they do give you shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. But me personally, I'm like very specific with my hygiene products. I use a certain shampoo for my hair, a certain conditioner, a certain body wash, a feminine wash, a certain face wash. Like I'm very specific with every single thing I use. So if you're like that and you have your favorite hygiene products, bring enough for two months because the bx does have hygiene products but it's very slim the bx that you go to in bmt is like a miniature bx so they don't have everything they have very minimal products so bring enough products for two months so bring enough shampoo for two months enough conditioner enough everything that you use daily for two months you know you have to bring the travel size version but stock up and bring enough for two months this is a very important thing I'm about to say. Stock up and bring a lot of aquaphor and lotion. So when I went, it was during the winter schedule. So it was pretty cold outside and everything was just dry. Hands were dry. Lips was dry. Everything, everything in BMT was just dry. Like I would recommend bringing a ton of aquaphor or chapstick like to keep your lips hydrated through BMT. I'm very weird. My lips always have to have something on them. So if you're like that, bring a lot of chapstick, a lot of aquaphor, um, hand lotion, like just the environment BMT was just dry. And I wish I brought more aquaphor because the BX didn't have any, but like aquaphor will save your life in BMT. Just trust me, bring aquaphor. You're going to need it for something. Another thing you could bring to BMT that I did not realize you could bring is a sleep mask and a bonnet. So if you're like me, I use a sleep mask every night to go to sleep and I wear a bonnet because I have a lot of hair. Um, you're allowed to bring that. So I would recommend bringing it, especially because some days you have no time to get ready. So sometimes I would do my hair before I go to sleep. So bringing a bonnet to tie your hair up so the next morning you can just take it off and go is so helpful. And then honestly, you're going to sleep good in BMT because you're so tired. So you don't really need a sleep mask, but it's still nice to have your own sleep mask in BMT, you know, because there's lights in the hallways and stuff. And if light affects you, like if anyone opens the bathroom door at night, you can see it straight from your bed. So if you need it to be completely dark to sleep, bring a sleep mask. Also in BMT, a lot of people say they don't get their period. I got my period three times in BMT. I was on it when I got there. I started it in February and I started it again before I graduated in March. So I got my period three times in BMT. So bring your favorite period products. Um, you can always go to the store and buy period products. But me, I use my Honey Pot pads. Those are my favorite products. So I brought plenty with me. Um, and some people don't get their period in BMT. So you might never even use them. But it's still good to have them just in case you do. Another thing someone told me to bring to BMT was baby wipes. They told me to bring it so I can use it for like flushable wipes and stuff like that. When I first got to BMT, they were looking at all of the civilian products that I brought. And the MTI told me, oh, you can't have baby wipes. Our plumbing is not good enough for that. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I need baby wipes. Like, it just makes everything go by so much quicker if I'm on my period, if I have to shit, you know, anything like that. Like baby wipes make the whole process go faster because in BMT, you don't got time to shit. So like, you, you got to speed it up. And it's just so much more sanitary to wipe with like flushable wipes or baby wipes. So I was like distraught when he told me that. But, and what I did, I, I broke a rule. I don't recommend doing this, but... We had Ziploc bags and after he looked through all of my stuff, he walked away. He didn't wash me, put certain things away. So he told me I couldn't have baby wipes. But what I did was take the baby wipes out of the baby wipes container and put them in a Ziploc bag. And I kept them in my OCP pocket. 
I literally kept baby wipes in my OCP pants pocket the entire time in BMT. And they came in use. When I left the gas chamber, my face felt like it was burning. I wiped it with baby wipes. Um, obviously, when I was using the bathroom, they came in handy. Um, but yeah, you know, bring baby wipes. They might make you put them away. But if they're not looking, you know, low-key sneak them. But um, I don't know. Someone told me I would be able to have them. And then I got there in my MC. I said I couldn't have them. So it all depends on your scenario. But I would recommend bringing some type of wipes and try to get away with it, you know? Okay, side note while I'm editing. So the MTI told me I couldn't have them because the plumbing was too bad and he didn't want me to flush them down the toilet, but I never flushed them down the toilet. So for girls in BMT and the girls' bathroom, there's like these pink bags because um, there's no like trash can in each individual stall. We have these pink bags that you could put your period products in and then you throw them in the trash afterwards. So if I ever needed to use my baby wipes, like if I was taking a shit or something like that, I would put the baby wipes in the pink plastic bag and I would tie it up and throw it away. So like I never flushed the baby wipes. I wasn't like fucking up the plumbing or anything. Like I still got away with having baby wipes. I kept them in like either my pants pocket or my backpack, but I wasn't like, I wasn't like disrespecting the fact that the plumbing didn't work. Like I, I understood the plumbing was bad, so don't flush them. So I never flushed them. Like I just used them. And honestly, they helped like the whole process go by faster, but I wasn't flushing them or fucking up the plumbing or anything like that. So I just wanted to add that. Don't come for me. So all of those products that I recommended bringing, I would also recommend bringing bags to store them in. So you can either use large Ziploc bags or you can be like me. I brought a bunch of clear pouches and I put all of my separate things into separate bags. So I had one bag with all my shower products, one bag with all my hair products, one bag with all my daily products. So like all my like toothbrush, toothpaste, face wash, like stuff like that. I had bags with every single thing. So when I went to go do something at BNT, I just brought that bag with me. So when I was going to take a shower, I didn't have to gather all my shower stuff and go. I got my bag and went to the shower. When I needed to do my hair in the morning, I got my hair bag, went to the bathroom, did my hair. It just made things go by faster. Everything at BNT is so fast paced. So bringing bags, I feel like really helped with organization and you get graded on your organization as well. So that just helps your locker look more clean and organized, you know, just having those bags to help you organize your space. All right, so that was all of the clothing and hygiene products. Now I'm gonna get into some other miscellaneous things. Um, I would recommend having a list of all of the addresses you plan on sending letters to. So write down every single person's address because you're not gonna have your phone to look them up. Um, get everyone's address and phone numbers written down. And this next one is a big one. I really, really, really recommend this. Like foot stomp this one. Bring envelopes that are already pre-stamped and pre-written. What I mean by that is bring envelopes that already have a stamp on it and already have the address of who you're sending it to. Because in BMT, you get very minimal time to write letters. On Sundays, you get more time to write letters. But during the week when you're trying to write letters, you get like five minutes before bedtime to do it. So you don't have much time to write letters. And stamping envelopes and writing down the addresses takes a few minutes to do. So if you have a bunch of envelopes already prepared with the addresses and stamps on it, you can write your letter, package it up, and then send it the next day. It's way quicker that way. I did not do this, even though I saw a YouTube video that said to do it, and I really regretted it. It would save me so much time if I would have already had those envelopes ready. So definitely pre-write your envelopes, and it will make sending mail so much easier. Trust me when I say that. Also, make sure you bring your phone charger. You are going to get multiple phone calls in BMT. They give you opportunities to pay your bills in BMT. And there's just like a lot of times you're going to get your phone in BMT for like random things. So make sure you have your charger. You know, you can bring your phone. It's going to be locked up. But don't forget to bring your charger. Because it would suck if you went to go make a phone call and your phone was dead. Bring your charger. And also speaking on letters, also you can bring pictures of your family members. So I didn't bring any, but I wish I would have brought some more pictures. Thankfully, my mom sent me a bunch of pictures of my family and, you know, people that I was missing. But you can bring pictures of your family members and just keep them, you know, in your drawer or whatever. So if that'll help you get through BMT, definitely bring some pictures with you. Um, I think it would be really nice to have. And then obviously you have to bring all of your documents to BMT. Basically every single document you can think of that you have, you have to bring to BMT. So I would recommend bringing a folder. Don't bring a huge binder, don't bring a huge folder. I brought this huge folder that was split up into separate parts and it was just too big. You already have so much in your backpack at BMT, like you don't wanna carry around a huge binder or folder. So just bring a folder big enough to hold all of your documents. And then this one is another, another foot stomp, bring a watch. If you don't bring one, they're gonna have an opportunity for you to buy one. It's just a basic military watch. I'll try to find the one I bought and put it here. 
but bring a watch. It's gonna be so much easier to keep track of time and everything when you have your watch on you. Also, the watch I bought, you can set alarms on it, so I woke myself up in the morning early so I could get ready. Stuff like that, bring a watch. All right, so that's basically everything I recommend packing for BMT. Um, I'm going to put the link for the Air Force packing list down below. I recommend looking over this one time before you leave, you know. Even if you've watched a bunch of packing videos, just watch over and make sure you bring every single thing you need. So it has everything you need for documents like social security card, birth certificate, enlistment contract. All It's a long list of things. So, so make sure you check out this website and bring every single thing you need so you don't forget anything because that would be trash. Another key point I want to make in this video is do not bring a huge suitcase or a huge duffel bag to BMT. Pack as light as you can. I know I just said a lot of things that you need to bring, but I brought everything in one duffel bag and that's it. Do not overpack for BMT and do not bring a big ass suitcase to BMT. Because as soon as you leave the airport, you're carrying your luggage. From the time that you go from the airport to the reception center to your BMT squadron, all of that time you are carrying your stuff. So there are people with big, huge suitcases. They don't let you roll them. This is basic military training. They don't let you roll them. You got to carry them. So unless you want to carry a huge suitcase and run with it, I recommend bringing as small of a bag as you can. Even if you bring a backpack, they're not going to let you wear it. They're going to make you hold it. But it would be nice if it was something light that you're holding instead of a huge suitcase. So don't bring crazy luggage. Um, if you're concerned about packing for tech school, like you want to pack it all in one, you can do that and you would be carrying a big suitcase. But what I did was I packed a separate bag for tech school and my mom brought it to me at BMT graduation. So it was a little confusing. Our MTIs, our MTIs were like, oh, you're not allowed to swap out your luggage, but like they kind of let us get away with it. So what I did was after graduation, my mom brought the bag that I packed for tech school and I brought that bag back to the squadron. And then my other bag I brought back to my mom. So I gave my mom my BMT bag and my mom gave me my tech school bag because the next day I was going to tech school. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to do the big swap, you know, swapping your tech school luggage with your BMT luggage, you could also pack a box for tech school and have your parents or whoever ship it to you. I preferred packing a bag so I could have it the day I got to tech school. Um, but if you're willing to wait a little bit for all your tech school things, you could have someone just ship it to you in a box. So another side note while editing, um, I went to tech school at Fort Sam Houston and we didn't get our mailbox until a week after we got there. So we got there on a Friday and then the next Thursday we got our mailbox and our address. So if you're packing a box and you're planning for someone to ship it, just keep that in mind that you're going to be waiting like a significant amount of time to get your stuff. You got to wait the week or however long it takes your tech school to set up a mailbox and then you have to wait the time to get your stuff shipped. So tech school, you're like slowly alternating back into the real world. And me, there was just certain stuff I wanted. I wanted my iPad. I wanted my headphones. I wanted to sleep in civilian clothing. Like I wanted regular clothes to sleep in. And some tech schools in phase one, you can't wear civilian clothing, but I still like to sleep in my civilian clothing. And then it forced me phase up in 21 days. So you're only there for a few weeks before you get to wear civilian clothes. So I wanted to have my own clothes, my own stuff. And everyone's different. If you can go a few weeks without having your personal stuff, like wait for the box, but keep that in mind if you don't pack a bag you might have to wait a certain amount of time for your stuff. I just wanted to add that. And if y'all want me to talk more about tech school and stuff, I can make a video about that too. But um, yeah, just keep that in mind when packing. So yeah, guys, that's basically everything for packing for BMT. This video has been long awaited, very, very requested. Um, sorry it took so long. I filmed this before and I didn't like it. So I thought I would try again. But if you have any questions about packing for BMT, comment, let me know. I'll, I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. I know I have some people that comment and they're like, I'm leaving in, I'm leaving next week, you know. So I'll try to answer as quick as I can. Um, but if not, the Air Force has a website with everything that you're going to need. And I would say it's pretty accurate. If you're wondering why I'm not in my room right now, I'm currently on TDY in Atlanta. So I have a video coming up about that. This is my first TDY in the military. So if you're interested in that, you know, stay tuned, subscribe. I post a bunch of military videos and I try to get back to as many comments and questions that I can. Um, so comment all your questions, all your concerns and subscribe to my channel. You know, I have so many videos coming this year. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.